take it. Two legends in basketball analysis with over 70 years combined experience. This is the Bob Ryan and Jeff Goodman podcast. NBA, some college, a little bit of everything. You know, what can I say? But it wasn't going to happen here with him. I was okay with it. because it wasn't It's time for the Bob Ryan, Jeff Goodman Tangway along for the ride pod. Brought to you by Price Picks on CLNS, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. Pick more, pick less with Price Picks. So we are speaking to you as game four is coming to a close. And I have to tell you that I'm okay with the Celtics losing. I understand. I wanted a sweep. I wanted to to win in debt. I wanted I wanted a sweep tonight. But I just felt, Bob, that this team just quit. And that bothers me. I I don't see that. They just stunk. Right. I, I, well, I agree. Quit. They suck. All right, one, I'll give you one area where I, it has to do with in the determination and effort for sure that that they should be held accountable rebounding, rebounding. offensive rebounding that of dallas you know, I, I, you know and, and the too many every loose ball they want all the quote-unquote 50 50s yeah. they want all the, the 10, defense, look i understand offense isn't look the offense wasn't there no Nobody. i mean rebounding rebound 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 that's effort a lot of it and they got out out, out efforted uh, and 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 every phase okay i'll give you that okay that's that I mean, listen Dallas has been, I mean, without Porzingis, honestly, Dallas has played him pretty damn close. Yes. Right? They have. I mean, they're not that far off without Porzingis. And, well, listen, do we, I mean, I mean, the Celts are up by 21 in game three and they stopped playing. Well, they didn't have Porzingis. I I mean, I think the Celtics are their own worst enemy. Well, 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 tonight, but, but, but wait, wait. I, I would say that normally, but tonight, the two guys that you probably trusted the most to bring their games and be solid were terrible. Drew Holiday and Derek White. Yeah, they, they were did. both awful, awful. They worked themselves tonight. Jalen Brown was awful. Like, Tatum was the only one who came out and did anything in the first quarter when they got smoked. And after that, it really didn't matter, to be honest. They weren't cutting it. And Luca played the way we want to see Luka Doncic play, right? He played the right way. He took pride in his defense. No, he's not great laterally, but you know what? He he gave – it was an A for effort tonight. He didn't give up anything easy, and he didn't whine and complain. No. And, man, he didn't even make his threes in what he finished with, 29 points in, in 27 minutes or something. I mean, it was it was a joke. I mean, he was – Leaps and bounds, the best guy on the court. It wasn't even close. No, no. I mean, it, it was – I just keep going. As I said to somebody tonight, uh, you got to look at – this is the micro. We can go – we can nitpick this game all. And 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 the, and the But it's about the macro, and it's about – okay. The Celtics – the fact is, however much we want to nit – you know, parse this game, uh, identify what went wrong, and, and we can do that easily, you all know. The fact is – that sweeps are rare. They have not had a sweep since 1959. They have not had a five-game series since 1965. This is the NBA we're talking about, folks. Dallas showed the requisite uh, dignity, nobility, uh, uh, grit. They fought. Where they fought the way you should fight. Uh, they 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 played the ball phrase from another winter sport. They played desperate basketball, and and I give them full credit. Okay. Uh, it, it's not unprecedented, by the way. By the way, the 1986 Celtics, which uh, you know I, I continue to feel is the greatest team of all time, they were up 3-0 against Atlanta, and they lost Game Four because Spud Webb beat them. <laughs> now, what happened in Game Five? Celtics had that historic 36-6 third quarter against Atlanta. Okay, I'm not saying we can look for a 36-6 third quarter, but I'll be very disappointed if the Celtics don't come out roaring on Monday night. Then we can help talk. But this will give fuel to the naysayers. That's that you know until they get for this job days. done, guys. For a couple get... days, Bob. That's all. For I know. Forty-eight I'm... hours, whatever it's going to be. The naysayers can get it all out of their system, <laughs> and then in Game Five, it's going to be over. And to be honest, it's going to be sweeter in a way because we you're can't doing it in Boston. Shut those people up. They can't until it's done. Yeah, it's not I mean... done. And and yeah. the, until it's done, they can't shut those people up. Okay, you know, as sports fans, that's part of the deal, right? 
Um, meanwhile, I got to say uh, that the smiles that you can feel and see in, in your imagination on the face of all the merchants in downtown Boston, <laughs> all the restaurateurs, all the bartenders, all bar owners, uh, and not to mention management, they can say what they want, but they open up those doors for another X million dollar gate. So anyway, but, but I've got that. The, uh, I'm, I'm simply saying that all kidding aside, the fact is that you know you know that the local restaurateurs were rooting for that, them to lose, whether they lost by one or 101. And so, look, I said, here's my here's my take, guys. I don't know what you, I, had, I went public on this many times. I said, the chances of winning tonight were 70%. The chances of winning on Monday, if they were to lose game four, were 98.8%. And that's how I feel about Monday night. Wow. That, that's high tonight. I thought seventy percent was high tonight. I I, I kind of looked at it as a, a flip of the coin. Well, the way they've been playing so well, though, Jeff. You know, in general, uh, I, I I thought they, you know, and also because of the narrative that we're alluding to here, we know, uh, you know, that that they are fighting uh, to to get their niche in Celtic history and 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 shut the people up that say that these guys don't have what it takes. You know, they got. And it, 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 they have the talent, but they don't I have the... I just wonder, too. I mean, it's it's human nature when you're up 3-0 to relax a little bit, to think you're going to be able to go in. You know, they, they were super loose. You could see it pregame a little bit with the Celtics, and they're always too loose, loose. But this seemed a little bit looser than usual. Like, hey, we're going to go out here. We're going to win this thing tonight. No problem. We got this. Uh, but, but again, I mean, when you got Luke and Kyrie cooking, and oh, by the way, Derek Lively... 12 rebounds. 12. Derek Lively, 12. I predict we'll see an all-star game before he's done. He's awesome. I, I like Derek Lively. I've said this. The, yeah. I, you know, Gafford is, Gafford's reached his ceiling. And and give him credit. Here's a guy, that, when he joined, I think they, I, I, I heard the number tonight. When he came from a team that was 9-51 and 51 <laughs> to here he's in the game, is in the NBA Finals. And, and he's, he does what he does, you know. But Lively has more stuff. He's got a lot more to offer. He hit a three tonight. He and, can shoot it a little bit. Uh, yeah, Gafford, who went to 33 straight shots, I think the probably the, the cumulative cumulative distance of those 33 shots was 66 feet last time. And I'm not being facetious. He doesn't shoot them. He, he, I thought he you were going to say 66 inches. <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he makes layups and dunks. That's what he does. Okay, he's going to have a long career because he also blocks shots and he does stuff. Right. But the other guy is on the – I think someday we'll, we'll be an all-star. Lively. That was a very good draft pick. Prize Picks is America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 5 million members. It is the most fun and exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats for a shot to win up 100 times your cash. With Prize Picks, you could turn $10 into $1,000 in a single game watching your favorite sports this summer. You can make a prize picks lineup in as little as 60 seconds. You just need to pick more or less on two to six player stat projections, and you're locked in. Now, if you're looking for promotions, prize picks has got you covered every week from lowering select player stats projections on Tuesdays, which increases your chance of getting a win to getting your entry fees back if you have a losing lineup on Fridays. The finals mean more on prize picks, and so do the star players. You get boosted playoffs on selected basketball stars that you won't find anywhere else. Now, this week on prize picks, I'm looking at Jason Tatum, more than 26 and a half points. Jalen Brown, more than three threes, which may be aggressive, but I'm running with that. Download that app today and use a code CLNS for a deposit match up to $100. Prize picks. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Okay, so does Porzingis play in Game Five? Bob? Yeah. Yes, that's the next thing. I'm I very happy. No. I, didn't, I don't didn't think buy. so. You don't? I don't. You want to wait till six? I, you want to wait till I seven? This is a guy. I, who knows? He could be done for this series. This is a guy that's had so many injuries in his career, and I, you know, agents are involved now. You're looking at your future. I get Ooh. it. It's the NBA Finals. Ooh. I wonder if 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 Porzingis. Well, I, I hope that isn't the. I mean, hey, Jeff. I hope, not, I well hope so right. too. But I hope that isn't the case. I. Ex oh, I. I'll be very. Disappointed. You have confidence. You really have confidence that Chris Porzingis, who you of all people, when we got him, 
when the Celtics got him, what were you saying, Robert Ryan? What I were said, you saying? I said he's seven three going on five three. And <laughs> and that's the way he plays because I I was right. totally in error. I had never saw him once last year. Who watches the Wizards? I said, and certainly didn't see that he had altered his game. Oh not even oh. that. The the injury prone <laughs> factor. We talked about that ad nauseum too. And now you're coming around and saying, I have faith that Chris Porzingis of all him, people is going to be out there. Well, if he's if if he's if he, assume he's somewhat healthy, I, I know he. I don't think he'll do something stupid. He's he's a rational man, I think, and, and he. But uh, I'm I'm just, I'm just saying I'll be surprised if we don't see him. Yeah, I think he wants to play Game Five at home at the Garden. They have a chance to clinch. I think he's going to want to be on the floor. Oh, he he wants to be, and he and he's a. But he also has told us it's not his call. Jimmy Butler didn't play. Hal Burton didn't play. Donovan Mitchell didn't play. They all sat in the playoffs. And and, but and this Porzingis is, the is tougher than this. This? Is, this is it. This is one step away from. I, yeah, I get but, it. I mean, but Porzingis, I think this is like I, this is his shot at a first this round is what I mean. First, yeah. you know the 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 first series is one thing. The finals when you're on the verge. I, I I mean, I'm just saying I I expect to see him and do they now, need him? Offer offensively is absolutely unknown and uh, but he will be able to take up very useful space. I I, I he could they take needed up him very, tonight. They needed him take tonight. Up very useful space, just being there and and people. Well, that's the thing. People will say, well, even if they had Porzingis, they won by a hundred. It wouldn't have mattered, you know what? It would, no, but it would have mattered because you would have had somebody out there. On the defensive end, number one, that could have protected the rim. Okay. Yes. And and they were they were doing whatever they wanted. Second of all, the Celtics had no help for Tatum offensively. You never know. Porzingis hits a few shots. The the complete tenor of the game could have changed. I'm yeah. not saying it would have. No. It could have right. changed with well, Porzingis. I, of course, of, of course, Jeff, because I think all of us thought the way the game is played today, and from what we've seen, every team makes a run. I mean, I thought the Celtics were still in this thing down 20, you know, down 20. 20 is one thing. You know, 39 well, yeah, is and, another. And no, then, you're right. And then, I did too. I wasn't giving up at that point. Yeah, so, but, but but if Porzingis is in there, he hits a three, blocks a shot, people start feeling good, you get momentum. But then once it got like 25, once we started to go further and further, it was like, you know, it was well, over. I mean, but it's such a rhythmic game, you know. Porzingis could have made a difference. I say give Dallas credit. They've earned, they, they, to get here, they did things no one thought they could do other than themselves. You know that. And this was their, this is their re reward to their fans for everything tonight. Well, they, they came didn't. out, look, they didn't, I thought Dallas was going to kind of roll over. I did really you? I did. didn't think that. I game four. I, I just thought uh, the Celtics like, would, the, would very likely meet the challenge, but not necessarily. I didn't I mean, think they it get was two lot. guys with pride, like two stars with pride. Like Luke is not going to lay down. And Kyrie against the Celtics, he's oh. going to lay down? <laughs> no, no way. No, no. no. All right. Well, uh, I don't know. He didn't show up in the first two games. We'll see. Game time makes getting NBA Finals tickets even faster and easier. Prices on the Game Time app actually go down the closer it gets to the tip-off. Like right now, I was looking on the app, and it's really easy to use. Just download the app. Lots of pictures for us sports fans. Lots of pictures. And... You know, the tickets for Celtics game one and whoever they play between six, seven hundred bucks. But the closer you get to actual tip time, it's going to go down. So you and your friends may do a last minute thing. And I know it's a lot of money, but maybe it's two, three of your friends. Last minute trip. Boom. Let's go. Let's see what the tickets are on game time. You never know. With killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from your seat and their lowest price guarantee game time takes the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets. Last minute tickets, flash deals, zone deals. Okay, here's the deal. Last minute deals save up to 60% off buying last minute for sports, concerts, comedy, theater, etc. Now, the flash dealers save even more with exclusive in app deals on select seats ahead of the game or the event. Save even more when you choose a section for the zone deals. You choose a section, let game time choose the seats. Sounds pretty good to me. Take the guesswork out of buying NBA Finals tickets with game time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code 
C-L-N-S, for $20 off your first purchase. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Well, that that's the best part of this to me, is they get to go back to Boston, and what better way oh, yeah. to end the season than for Boston fans to cheer for the Celtics and boo Kyrie out of out of the game. Well, last time we had this circumstance, it was in a 2-3-2 two, two in, in 08. But it was 3-2, to two, and we know they rose to that occasion in a score I will never forget to my grade 132-98. to 98. And, and uh, you know, that was a, a magnificent night. I'm not predicting we're going to have a re- 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 reprise of that at all. But, you know, it, 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 it it's, these are the kind of things that can happen. And, and the other thing, it just generally carry over in general – who should knows better than the Boston Celtics about the the, the irrelevance of carryover? Oh yeah, Boston. it doesn't matter. No, it, no, it we I go back to Memorial Day massacre in 1985, and 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 you know we know what happened after that. So uh, that way they were on the other side. So anyway, it, it's embarrassing, and and it's I'm I'm not trying to say they should feel good about themselves, but they could they should shrug this off. But this is. No, they will. Just as if I wanted to see a sweep tonight. So just as a fan, yeah. I wanted to see. It. But hey, look. But do you think, you know, will Tatum get off the offensive schneid a little bit? I mean, he was their best offensive player tonight. But that's not saying much. I mean, he he did he did in the first half, game three. He hit an early three. I was encouraged. Right yeah, away. we really he haven't seen three. him click yet. No, you know, I thought he was better. You know, again, I thought he was fine in the first quarter. Like he was the only one who, who was, I I thought he was fine tonight, but nobody else was with him. I mean, it was, it was, it was by himself and he, he's not enough. Like that's the one thing is, is you look at it and Luca has the ball in his hands all, all the time, all the time. I mean, it is amazing. Like how many dribbles (laughs) per possession. Luca and Kyrie, especially Luca, right? If the ball's not in Luca's hands, it's in Kyrie and it's dribble, dribble, dribble. Right. And uh, it's not a pretty watch. They just don't move the basketball very right. often. No, and that's their MO. That's who they are. That's what the construction of their team is. Luca, you know, it, we, we learned that Kristaps didn't fit in well with Luca. Okay. We know that. Uh, and and uh, that was part of why now. Part of, huh? You can see why, even though Luca has a, a ton of assists, there a lot of them are the assists of like dribble, 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 and again, it's just like he or doesn't advance out. the ball. He just right. doesn't know how right. to advance the ball quickly ever. Like I never see him catch the ball rarely. I mean, tonight <laughs> one play he caught it, he pushed it, and then fed it. The for great That was a wonderful play. Yep, and that was a. You know what that was? That was a Caitlin Clark play. She's the best I've ever seen on either sex at making that play on the move to throw the ball to the rim, to yeah. throw the ball to a cutter. That was that was a wonderful co- collaboration. They had a lot of wonderful golden moments tonight. That was one of them. And, and I, I keep saying about him, by the way, Jeff, you know, he goes wherever he wants to go at his pace. Yeah. And, you know, and nobody can nobody stops him. He can, it, it, they it, have great defenders. I mean, that's the crazy part. The Celtics are switching everything, right? They start with Jalen Brown. They'll switch. They'll end up with whatever Tatum, White, Drew Holiday. They're all really good defenders. Even Horford, if he's one on one against Luca, and it doesn't matter. Well, he's got the full package. He can if he, if he thinks he can take it all the way, he takes it all the way. He's got the step back. He's got up and unders. He's got up fakes. He's got he's 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 got all the tricks, all the bag tricks in the bag. You know, and that's why he led the league in scoring, folks. It wasn't an accident. When you were a kid, right? I mean, for me, it was two cards. Back when they had the long uh, NBA cards, uh, John Havlicek, Dave Cowens. I mean, I still remember the pictures. It was Cowens going up for a rebound, I think, over Kareem Abdul-Jabbar when he was with the Bucks. So those were my guys. Those were my cards. I think I even had a Michael Ray Richardson card. How's, How's that for a name from the past? So collecting has come a long way since then, but now there's a new way to buy, sell, and trade in RIP packs. Don't you just love to say that? RIP packs. It's called Arena Club. Arena Club has taken RIP packs to another level. Introducing slab packs from arenaclub.com, the only RIP pack that provides real value, a complete view of all possible cards, and clear hit rates for each one. So 
Wait, you, you know, you're opening up that Arena Club slab pack, you'll feel like a kid again. All right. And then you get a display of available cards, hit rates, and grading. Arena Club is the marketplace for card collecting, buying, trading, selling, and displaying. So whether you're buying, selling, trading, or displaying, Arena Club is an all-in-one trading card platform to have you check out. I mean, it's a platform, folks. Let's get with it. It's the digital age. Buying. No more shipping delays or cards lost in transit. Arena Club uses blockchain technology to deliver your card immediately. Buy with confidence knowing every card on Arena Club is guaranteed authentic. The Arena Club grading process combines AI and human grading. It's accurate, fast, and transparent with a full grade rationale provided and explanation of how your card was scored. Make offers and trades and interact. Create your own personal showroom and start building your collection today. Right now, you can get 10% off your first purchase by going to arenaclub.com slash hoops. That's arenaclub.com slash hoops for 10% off your first purchase. <laughs> do you see, hey, do you, I, I saw Chandler Parsons. I don't know if you saw this about three weeks ago. No. Said he thinks Luca's better than Bird already. Um, I'm not asking if he's better already because he's not, obviously. He's not. No, it, it's, but, it's a little different. But, but is there, do you see some similarities? Yeah, in but here's team? the big difference. No, I, I reject this because what they have in similar is similar is a variety of shot making. Okay. No question about that. But it's totally polar opposite. He has the ball all the time. He dribbles the ball triple figured times in a game. All right. Unlike Clay Thompson, it took 11 dribbles to score 60 points. Okay. Whatever it was. Larry Bird's uh, among his distinctions. But one of his great distinctions in the history of this game is that no player has ever accomplished more in terms of assists and making other people relevant without the ball or with no with the ball in his hands infrequently as Larry Bird. Larry Bird got it done with hardly ever having the ball. He was two steps ahead in his mind about where the pass was going to go. You know, he wasn't a he was you know he wasn't a dribble 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 dribble. But and I'm not knocking Luca. Luca does what Luca needs to They're do. Just different. Be good. But the but similarity, I guess, remotely well, similar. There, no the one ever got more done that without the ball and or with the ball briefly in his hands than Larry Bird. No the one. Similarity, I guess, is is number one. Shot making. Yeah, and, yeah. and no, they're it's, both it's and they're power. both average athletic white dudes. Yeah, color are, of skin. Yeah. Believe and me, they're, and they're both. They can't really jump. Neither one of them. No, to jump very, very high. But, Let's but Larry's face it. big thing was Larry had a quick takeoff. Yeah. Larry got to his apex quickly. He didn't have to gather, and he had the instinct of rebound and, and, and timing and all that. So that made him as he, he was still able to. And he had one thing no one ever talks about. He had very strong hands, strong hands. And and uh, so anyway, so I reject the comparison. The only comparison is a they're both white, and b uh, they both have a variety of shot making. But after that, they're very different players. All right, guys. Great job. We will talk again next week. And <laughs> I'm not going to say book anything. I'm it. not jinxing anything. Shut, shut the book on this one. Don't even show him the tape, Joe. Don't even show him the tape. No, nah, he All probably right. won't. Okay, guys. All right. Brought to you by Prize Picks, the exclusive daily fantasy partner of the CLNS Media Network. Pick more, pick less with Prize Picks. Bob, Jeff, we'll see you later. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye.